is a global group of private corporations that are insiders that work through private central banks who have unlimited currency and credit by fraud, who are waging war against real free market economies and have decided to phase out the free market economy, first the industrial economy, then the service economy, and make us basically chattel welfare slaves, either through corporate government or classical welfare systems, to make us dependent so that we can go under true social engineering for population reduction and final extermination. And that's a huge statement there, and it's totally true. And I'm just here warning you, and there's enough freedom and free speech left in the West that I'm able to even get this out. The system thinks you're done. They think you've rolled over to anything. In Germany, like I mentioned, they're trying to ban men standing up and urinating. That's in der Spiegel. With a straight face, they say it hurts women. They can't stand and urinate. And if a woman can't do it, you shouldn't be able to do it. That's equality. That's... that's uh, Tolerance. And uh, state-run universities in Arizona are teaching all the problems are because of white people. And I, I mentioned that last hour. And you hear this stuff and it sounds crazy. It's meant to be crazy. Like Obama saying two plus two equals five. And if you raise the debt limit, it doesn't raise the debt. This is all meant just to get you ready to put up with anything they say. Or MSNBC saying your kids don't belong to you, they belong to the state. Should I play that clip again? Or CBS News saying fluoride's good for your kids or mercury's good for your kids. I mean, I could play all these clips again. We all know fluoride will kill you. We all know mercury will kill you. But it's part of them just, hey, pay us carbon taxes, even though plants live off carbon dioxide or the earth will die. And while the earth's the coldest it's ever been, NASA said last week, even though we've got record cold temperatures across the planet, AccuWeather, Tuesday blizzard to bring New York City, Boston to standstill. The mayor of New York says maybe the worst to ever hit. Meanwhile, more homeless camps are appearing beyond downtown L.A. Skid Row. L.A. Times reports, but they claim California has the best economy ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and they're opening the borders wide open. Uh, wide open. Uh, let me go further here before I go to your phone calls. When the president, without even an executive order, but just by fiat, opens the borders up and legalizes all the illegals or turns off our power plants or puts our military under UN control or persecutes the Tea Party or the Christian groups with the IRS, do you understand if they get away with that, they can do anything? And Congress passed in the House last year a ban on partial birth abortion. They couldn't even do it now that the Republicans have a bigger majority. You know why? Because before the Republican House could pass the bill and blame it on the Democrats voting it down in the Senate. But now that it came down to actually banning partial birth abortion of eight and nine month old babies that could be just delivered and adopted on the spot, now that true unequivocal murder could have been banned, the House couldn't pass it because, see, that would have exposed the Senate that now has a Republican majority as traitors. So, see, electing more Republicans means we can't pass abortion bans because it shows you who the wolves in sheep's clothing are. That's good, though. You had a major political realignment. Democrats voting for Republicans because they wanted to get the economy going. They were against abortion. They were against open borders. When you give the illegals all this free stuff, but you can't get that if you go to a third world country, you, you, they can come here, but we can't go there. Everybody gets it. And so because we are winning hearts and minds, because people are waking up to what's happening, now... Boehner, who attacks Obama in speeches, I predicted that. It wasn't hard to do. He won't, though, even start or allow the bills. There's dozens of them to repeal parts or all of Obamacare. That's totally unpopular, totally criminal, has death panels, increases prices, has all these taxes on poor people. Can't happen. Can't have an IRS investigation of them persecuting people. That's all admitted. Can't have a Benghazi investigation. Can't have a Fast and Furious investigation. Because people like John Boehner are set to make tens of millions a year just on their insurance company investments they voted on. And just in 2014, insurance company profits worldwide were up 47% just off U.S. profits. 
And if you look at just U.S. subsidiaries, they're up 200 plus percent. Look it up. In fact, guys, people won't believe me if they're a TV viewer. Infowars.com forward slash show just to obnoxiously show everything that we talk about on screen. Type in insurance company profits up 47% under Obamacare. Let's give them a New York Times or Wall Street Journal on that one. <laughs> but it's 200 plus percent just here. Because gang raping you is fun for them. Uh, the dumbasses that were out there and supported it, excuse my French, really thought that the government and insurance companies that were lobbying for it wanted to give you increased, uh, at a Freudian slip, lowered prices or wanted to give you something free. And you got all these poor people out there that never knew they could get charity care or free health care under federal law at these hospitals, these charity hospitals. They're all lined up around the block bankrupting things right now, like it's some kind of new fancy uh, rich guy thing to go in and get surgery or whatever in these flesh-eating bacteria factories they call hospitals. <laughs> and our country's media is so controlled that even Forbes admitted there are Ebola cases around the country that have been covered up. That's what it is to be a slave, though. A slave to the complexity. Because most men that are intelligent decide to go game the system somewhere where they can make money gaming the system. There's the New York Times. Cost of coverage under Affordable Care Act increases in 2015. Yeah, that's an article about just Google, just search engine, insurance companies get record profits under Obamacare. That'll, that'll give you the 47% 2014 number. That's globally, though. Insurance companies globally, 47% uh, increase. They wrote the bill. They had bipartisan Republican support, and the Republicans won't repeal it right now. But the Democrats would get up and say, Republicans don't want it because they're racist. They wrote the stinking thing. The rhino, neocon, John Boehner, pieces of trash, wrote it. With the Democrats, like Ezekiel Emanuel, who went on Fox News and said, yeah, this is meant to bankrupt health care and bring in total control in a single payer. That'll still be administered, though, by private interest. When they're done, you'll pay five times what you did, and then they'll deny you care, and you're going to love it because you don't even have a memory of your new listener out there of how your prices went up. Yeah, there's Forbes headline. Profits and health insurance under Obama. And then it goes into, no, that's a 2013 showing massive increase. I'll find it during the break and show, folks. You guys are doing great, but I'll, I'll find it. So I covered it out of an AP article. There was a Japan Times article, too, last week that, that, that said the 40, I think they said 49% actually in that article. It's got to be fun, though. You just go lobby, and, and people like my folks or myself see a doubling the last two years in their prices. But we're all just individuals. We're all conspiracy theorists. You know, that's all just a Republican talking point, even though they wrote the bill, the Republicans did. We're going to come back and take your phone calls, and then we're going to look at what's happening in Greece, what's happening in China, big economic implosions there. Oh, ex-spies infiltrate Hollywood as espionage TV shows and movies multiply. That was the law change last year to allow the CIA to run the media. They were already doing it, but now the gloves are off. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. You can't blame the technocratic, eugenicist, globalist elite for everything that's happening. The West and freedom, freedom compared to other countries and other cultures, nothing was perfect, created such fabulous wealth and power that we became decadent and slovenly. And now I look at the totalitarian left that thinks men wearing pants is evil and men standing to urinate is evil. I mean, this is in the news and that have anti-white studies being taught by white professors everywhere to create racial division and hatred, who cover up black-on-white crime happening all over the country. It's the George Soros model to spend $33 million funding anti-police riots all over the country. Does that endorse the police state? No, it legitimizes it by attacking the police wrongly. The plan is to get us all at each other's throats while we're swindled. 
And under the new world order, you will lose your pension funds. You will lose your 401ks. You will lose your basic dignity. You will become a prisoner. That's the model that the TSA is training us to convert to. This is happening all over the world. This is stated. We're going into bondage, but high-tech, creeping incremental. But now it's accelerating. And I, for one, don't want to be part of this. Most of the people that work for the system are destroying their own futures going along with it, but they're compartmentalized, and they need that paycheck. The answer is don't go along with this. Say no. There's major resistance already organically to it. I'm going to go to Aaron and Rick and Gerald and Gerald, two Geralds, Gerald in Arkansas and Texas, side by side, David and Todd and Sirio, Chase, Ash, Robert, Bob, and others. Briefly, we have a new introduction to the InfoWarsLife.com family of high-quality nutraceuticals. And just as we have 25% off the introductory offer for Ancient Defense uh, Herbal Immunity Boost, we have that going right now until supplies sell out, which is very, very soon. We have a limited supply of a test of oil of oregano, truly organic. And I don't like taking it in my mouth because it burns my mouth. Uh, since Roman times, they've known what it's done for people's health. Well, uh, here's a basic introduction to the new InfoWars Life Oil of Oregano formulation. Introductory price of $19.95, that's $10 off. A highly advanced nutraceutical form of the key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. Uh, used as far back as Roman Empire to support the body's natural digestive systems and enhance health. The new era of super high-powered oregano oil has arrived. Wild-crafted from the true Mediterranean oregano species. That's a big difference than a lot of the fake stuff out there. Oreganum vulgra which is considered to be one of the most active oregano plants. Uh, standardized 70% uh, InfoWars Life Oil of Oregano contains 45 milligram capsules that can be taken one or three times a day, 60 capsules per bottle. I just said, hey, I like to take high-quality oregano. It burns my throat. It's terrible. I looked into caplets. It gets it deeper into the stomach so you don't have acid reflux from it. It's amazing, InfoWarsLife.com, along with all the other great products that are there as well. We now have oil of oregano in caplets, highest quality, organic, the very best we could get, cold-pressed. Okay, I basically laid out what's going on. There is a takeover of society by special interests at every level where it's about running the system, not getting there because you have the best idea of products. We're going into a totalitarian system out of a free market system that wishes to use poverty and ignorance as the new system where regression, not progression, is the way. The Patriot Act is called patriotic. It's the opposite of that. All these other bills have the opposite use. Well, the progressives call themselves progressives. We think of the word progressive is good. Well, if, if cancer is progressing, is it good? If diabetes is progressing, is it good? If uh, Parkinson's is progressing, is it good? We always hear about reform. Is reform always good? Well, yeah. I've said this many times. If I stick my hand in a blender and hit it on high, it's going to reform my fingers into a bloody paste. Is that reform good? Well, maybe if I'm going to use it as fish food. These are the games they play. And they've got these hordes of just empty trendies infesting everything that have no ideas. They're not intellectuals. They're, they're fascist, really. But they believe they're liberal in their vicious ignorance. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. You are no liberal.